hope everybody's having a blessed one thank you very much for tuning in to my channel and i hope everybody's safe so the topic of my message today is lift each other up and i believe that as christians we should empower each other we should help each other succeed and we should wish the best for so let's talk about the two greatest commandments in matthew chapter 22 verse 37 to 40 jesus said to him you shall love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind this is the first and great commandment and the second is like it you shall love your neighbor as yourself on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets so pretty much like those two greatest commandments they cover everything when you love your neighbor as yourself you will not lie on your neighbor you will not steal on your neighbor you will not take your neighbor's wife loving your neighbor means loving your fellow men and it includes a lot of your includes the other commandments so chapter 3 verse 13 it says but exalt one another every day as long as it is called today that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin so there is saying exhort one another like check on one another if somebody is going through something comfort them encourage them advise them because at the end of the day we all need a helping hand once in a while we cannot do everything alone like the reason i was successful throughout college was because I had teachers who were able to help me. I had uh, teachers who I was able to call and get an extension on an assignment. So at the end of the day, exhort one another. Don't only ex not only be exalted, but bring other people up along with you. Because like you never know when you're gonna need help, and we all need help. In Hebrews chapter ten. Verse 24 to 24. Verse 24 to 25, I meant. It says, And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. So each day, uplift your fellow man. Be positive. If your fellow man has that new job or that new promotion, congratulate them and tell them to keep pushing so th that's the thing like we, we we need to encourage one another it doesn't make sense that like how that like i won't feel right if i'm succeeding and all my and all my friends i'm i'm not really succeeding if you have that new job and you know your friend is looking for a job and you know your company is still hiring then put in a word for your friend and then tell and then tell your friend to apply for that job. See, help each other out. Because, like, let's say, God forbid, you lose your job. You still have that friend who you can maybe ask, Hey, can you lend me a few dollars? When you exhort people, you're sowing. You're gonna, you pretty much reap what you sow. When you sow good, you're going to reap good. You're going to reap positivity. Because that person that you help. Later down the line, they may be like, hey, he really helped me out. Let me also help out. So, like Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 to 25, is really telling us to love one another, to encourage one another. If, some, if you see one of your friends going through depression, unemployment, encourage him and tell him to keep on applying. Verse 1 through 2, it says, Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing. So it goes back to my earlier point. Keep loving one another as brothers and sisters. When you love thy neighbor, you're going to love one another. You're going to wish the best for your fellow man. You're going to wish the best for him and his family. And when you show kindness to someone, you're also 
the mayor was so kindness to you. I forgot which book in the Bible it was, but there was one verse which was saying, if you don't if you don't help the needy in their time of need, then who help you in your time of need? So it's pretty much like you reap what you sow. You can reap you can reap an apple when you need to sow an apple. You can't reap friendship when you need to sow friendship. You can't you can't expect someone to be kind to you when you haven't shown kindness towards them. So that's pretty much that's what I'm really getting from this verse. And in verse eleven to twelve, it says, "Do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge." There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who are you to judge another? So this verse, man, is going back to that rule. Do not judge. In in the gospels, it pretty much says, by the same by the same measure you judge, you will also be judged accordingly to. So it's not a place to judge or to content condemn. We're supposed to uplift one another. It's not a place with all sin and falling short of the glory of God. We have all lied, we've all committed sins and offenses. So at the end of the day, forgive and exhort one another. And this is a, one of my other favorite verses. James chapter 5 verse 19 to 20. It says, whoever brings back a sinner from his wandering will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. So at the end of the day, if you have knowledge, share that knowledge. If you, if you found God, then share and, share and testify about God. Right. You can be having a job. And you and you see that your friend needs a job, and you know that you and you know that they'll fit your company. Look out for each other. If you see your friend struggling with something, advise them. If you see your friend about to make a wrong decision, advise them. Advise them. Because knowledge is power. If you if you have knowledge about something and you know your friend can benefit from that knowledge, then pass on that knowledge. In Luke chapter 15, verse 10, it says, In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. So, like, help one another. If you, if you see your friend doing something that is not right, talk him out of it. That's why the topic of my message today is lift each other up. Lift each other up from sin. Lift each other up from oppression. Lift each other up when they, when you're suffering through affliction. Lift each other up. And like this is one of my favorite in the story of Job. So Job was being tested. Satan gave him sickness. He uh he lost a lot of his resources. In Job chapter three. Verse one to seven, and Job was just very depressed. He was he was going through a lot of grief, a lot of agony, and a lot of bitterness. So in Job chapter three, verse one to seven, it says, "After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. And Job spoke and said, May the day perish on which I was born, and the night in which it was set. A male child is conceived." May that day be darkness. May God above not seek it, nor the light shine upon it. May darkness and the shadow of death claim it. May a cloud settle on it. May the blackness of the day t terrify it. As for that night, may darkness seize it. May it not rejoice among the days of the year. May it not come into the number of the months. Oh, may that night be barren. May no joyful shout come into it. And so we know Satan. 
gave Job sickness. In Job chapter 2 verse 7, it says, So when Satan fought from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job with soul boils from the sole of his foot onto his crown. So you see Job having a lot of bitterness. He's going through a lot of grief. He's not in the right place, state of mind. But let's see what one of his friends tells him. One of his friends encouraged him. In Job chapter 4 verse 5, the friend said, the friend was talking about his affliction. He said, but now it has come on you and you faint. It touches you and you are troubled. So before this, his friend was talking about how Job helped to, give, helped to strengthen people around him. But now that he's going through affliction, he's fainting. And, he's and his friend goes on to say, Remember, I pray you, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So his friend is, is talking about how the end the righteous shall not perish. He's giving him reassurance that everything's going to be alright. His friend was doing what we call lifting him up. His friend was lifting. Joe was being lifted up and encouraged by his friends. James chapter 1 verse 27. It says, Pure in religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. So, as believers in Christ, we got to lift each other up. We got to help each other in our time of need. Continue to encourage one another and be patient with one another. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my message. Please like, share, subscribe, and have a blessed one.